All right, today I'm going to do a reaction to the Roaring Kitty live stream about GameStop. And if this video helps even one person not lose money during this pump and dump scheme, then the whole damn thing was worth it. And to start out this video, we're going to define a pump and dump scheme, which involves artificially inflating the price of a stock through false or misleading statements, which is the pump to attract the investors. And then once the price has been driven up, the fraudsters sell their overvalued shares, which causes the dump, leaving the new investors with significant losses. There are legal consequences to this, so we'll talk about that as well. Because if you are engaging in a pump and dump scheme and you are benefiting from the move up so that you can dump your shares at a higher price, there can be penalties from this from the SEC. And that is why Roaring Kitty is sitting on all of his shares and options, even though he is now suffering massive losses because he's not nearly as dumb as he's acting. He is trying to prevent legal consequences. So today we will look at the chart and we will look at the price action because obviously this is a price action technical analysis channel. But very quickly, I'm going to be showing clips throughout this video about his live stream to prove to you that he is definitely trying to pump and dump this stock and there is no way he is a long-term investor in this thing you can tell by his reaction and how he was late to his stream that he had no idea that GameStop was going to do an early earnings release with an offering yo GameStop was this an early birthday gift from y'all you know the early birthday gift of early, <laughs> early earnings announcements and an offering I guess cheers <laughs> I guess <laughs> You wrap it up in a gift or some shit? Oh, thank you, chat. All right. And I personally believe he was trying to pump the stock going into earnings, and this blew up in his face, and he did not expect this to happen. Oh, no. Oh. I'm, not saying, I'm not saying any of the right things. I'm saying all the wrong things right now. I, where's that eject button? It might be time. It might be time. So he was 30 minutes late to his stream trying to figure out a way to improvise on how the hell he was going to recover these massive losses because he did not see this early release and offering happening. And the earnings were actually not supposed to be released until Tuesday of next week. And I do believe GameStop did this on purpose because of the live stream because they also do not want the retail investors to be hurt from this. And this guy is sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars. There is no way we should ever feel bad about him losing money. He is going to be just fine at the end of this. It is going to be the retailers chasing it, thinking that they're buying into a dream and thinking that they are going to get rich quick that are going to lose a lot of money. And some of these people being baited into this stock are going to lose their entire life savings. So we need to make sure that we are spreading the truth and helping these people and saving them from losing lots of money. And while I cannot guarantee this stock is going to go a lot lower, I can very confidently tell you that he is using your losses to his gain. And I do not like what he is doing. So that is why I'm doing this reaction video to begin with. All right, so very quickly, I wanna show you how he is trying to pump this stock by showing you how much money he has made. But very quickly, you see how this backfires in his face because he doesn't wanna show you his portfolio while the stock is halted, which proves that he is hoping that when he shows you that he's sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars in this stock, that you will just blindly go start buying it and help push the stock higher. But once he realizes that it's halted, he quickly decides he doesn't wanna show his portfolio until the stock is no no longer halted can i do the portfolio reveal is like is that is that okay I, I i think i can i don't think there's any issue with that i can yes i can do that i can do that okay well those youtube rules you know what i'm saying all right let me just check let me just make sure this is legit hunky dory oh it's frozen right now oh oh it's it's halted i won't do it while it's halted we'll wait we'll wait till it's till it's not halted and then he likely realizes what he said. He tries to back out of it by saying it doesn't show while it's halted, but then it goes halted while he's on live stream and it's still showing, which proves that is also BS. And it also proves he was trying to pump the stock by showing his portfolio. Oh, did it go down? Oh, is it halted again? Oh, it's halted. Well, that's where it was, right word. That's where it, at the halt. See, I, I wait until the halt because if, um, if, if it's halted, it doesn't show the stuff. So it needs to be unhalted. I don't know why it does that, it just is. So I think it's very clear he's trying to pump this stock, but then he starts to improvise and he starts talking about fundamentals. And the crazy thing about this is that this is definitely a stock that apes are going into hoping for very quick gains. And he starts talking about waiting three years and then he goes as far as to say five to 10 years. And this is the dangerous part about this is you do not want to hold in a business that is on the brink of bankruptcy this is very dangerous and I hope nobody buys into this crap thinking they're going to buy this stock and hold it for five years. This guy started out buying this stock and this is documented fact because there was too many short sellers in it and he wanted to squeeze them out. There is no way he is a long-term investor in this thing, but listen to what he has to say about that. But it's a good starting point and I, don't, I personally don't think three years is, is, uh, too, is too long in this, in this case. Uh, five years, 10 years. All right. All right. Like if, if, if we all wait five years, 10 years, you know, and it's like, all right, we're going to be going into the pet rock business. Come on. 
Come on, reserve the right to change your mind, just like I do. That's how you should approach this. You hear that? Reserve your right to change your mind, which means he's going to tell you buy into it for the next three to five years and he will reserve the right to sell at your loss and at your expense because he has the right to change his mind, which he absolutely does. But he is so obviously proving to you that he is definitely pumping this stock so that he can dump it and he needs you to be the exit liquidity because this is a piece of crap stock that wasn't on anybody's radar. So very quickly, we'll look at the chart because at the end of the day, if this is going to work out and if this stock is going to pump and it's going to short squeeze, it's always going to come from the chart anyway. And I do have the volume profile on here. So you can clearly see all of the volume for this stock is right around $21.50. And if at any point this stock breaks down below about $23 or $24, it is likely going down very quickly. But if you get down below this demand zone, which obviously is his demand zone, where he loaded up on the stock around $20 a share, this is where things are going to go south and this stock is going to come crashing down. And from Friday's close, that is about another 24% drop, which is still a very uncomfortable drop. So you need to understand, I am not telling you what you should do with your money. If you think this is a good company and you think this stock is going higher and you want to participate with Roaring Kitty and you guys are all going to the moon together in a rocket ship and you're all going to get rich and all this exit liquidity for you is going to come in one day so that you can sell and realize all of that massive money and you're going to sit in a mansion with Lamborghinis and you're going to go visit the moon every day in rocket ships and you want to do all of that crap, that is completely fine. It is your money, but you need to understand the probabilities of that happening are very low and he is using you and manipulating you so that he can make money and that is how this guy got over a hundred million dollars to begin with because he was the first person to manipulate this stock the first time around and i hate to tell you but lightning usually doesn't strike the same spot twice and he is trying to capture lightning in a bottle a second time which is very risky especially for all of the people buying into the hype so if you are going into this stock there is two critical levels you have about 21.5 and then right around 23 to 24. if this stock breaks down below that in my opinion it is going a lot lower very quickly and again, there is a chance this thing goes all the way down to $0 and this company ceases to exist. If any of you are buying into those ARK Invest stocks or all of those meme stocks back in 2020 and 2021, you can go look right now and most of them are down over 90%. It is not uncommon to lose every dollar you put into stocks like this. So you need to understand that. And if you do understand that and you have a friend that is buying into this crap, you need to do your best to help them understand not to do that as well. If you are gambling any money in this, it needs to be 100% money you are willing to lose, which means 100% of it could easily go away. And that is the risk with trading this. And this guy is being very irresponsible by pumping this stock, by showing his portfolio, because it looks like you can repeat what he has done and and that is just not going to be true. Eventually, he needs to sell. Otherwise, they are just paper gains. He eventually needs to realize all of that money, which means he has to sell. And in a stock that nobody truly wants to buy, that means he is going to crash the stock simply by exiting it. And if at that point you are still holding this stock, you have lost and he has won. And he is going to sell off into the sunset with hundreds of millions of dollars and you are going to be broke. So be very, very careful and please, please take this seriously. So my suggestion is stay far away from this stock. But if you are going to go into it, manage your risk around these levels in the $20 zone and get out below it. If we are above that and you want to try to participate in it going higher, like I said, I cannot tell you it can't go higher. It obviously can, but I'm telling you it's not worth the risk and anything you're putting into, you should be willing to lose 100% of it. So in closing, he is going to make one more attempt to pump this stock before the end of the month because that is when his call options expire and he needs this stock to be over $20 by June 21st. Otherwise, he is going to lose over $100 million in call options. So be very careful. There are going to be more traps ahead and there's going to be many more opportunities to trick you into buying this stock i suggest you stay far away from it but obviously it's your money do what you want i am warning you right now do not mess around with this stock run away from it never look at it again and delete it off your watch list and do your best to help your friends as well uh, well, all right. Okay. All right. If that's the case, oh, I think we're going to end the stream now. We're going to end it now and we'll, let's let's see what happens. I know we'll we'll end it now. I'm going to do one let's do one final cheers. Thank you everybody for coming. I mean, this is, this is awesome.